Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can research any Solana address on Nansen to get interesting insights that you may use to get an edge in the market. In this example, I'm using Pepe with hat.sol. When you search this address, all you have to do is just plug it in, search, and you'll be able to come to this page. When you use a different address, you'll see different information. Here, you can see all the wallet labels of the address. So we can see things such as any unique identifiers or any Solana specific labels such as with whale, popcat whale, etc. These labels give you more information about an address so you can make informed decisions. There's also the total balance, then also the historic token portfolio for the address. On other networks such as Ethereum EVM networks, you'll be able to drop down here and then select the other networks. But as we're only looking at Solana today, you'll only be able to go through Solana. You can get a trading summary of the last 90 days or all time. As you can see with this address, they've only taken profit from WIF, so they have a 100% win rate with a significant gain in realized PNL. We can also see other tokens that they hold, such as the popular meme coin Popcat, Bonk, and we also see they're holding a small amount of Solana. We also have the counterparties tab. So if you're ever unsure about what a dashboard is, just go up to the eye here and we'll have them all throughout the dashboards that we have and it tells you exactly what you need to know. So in this case, counterparty shows you a detailed list of addresses that the wallet or entity has interacted with sorted by NetFlow. In other words, this tells you what the address is doing in real time. So you can see, for example, they are sending funds back and forth through Coinbase. This can be a really useful tab to look through to see what a team's doing, what a dress is doing, sorry, where they're depositing money, are there interesting, any interesting airdrop farms, are they buying, are they selling, and so on. We can then go to the transaction tab. So by default, we have a minimum value for this, and then we can see any real-time transactions by this address. So we can see, for example, that people are sending this address some meme coins. Maybe that's a good thing, maybe it's not, but we can also see when they're buying or selling. So this tells you everything you need to know about an address, and in this case, um, all the meme coins they're interacting with. Then we also have PNL, which is probably one of my favorite features across Nansen, which tells you everything you need to know about an address is profit and loss. And this covers uh, realized as well as unrealized gains, which is really, really useful in determining the strength of a wallet and also the insights that you may want to see. So we can see the average return on investment they've made um, the amount of tokens they've traded, we can sort this by 90 days, seven days, one year, all time, and that applies to the other dashboards here. This highlight feature tells you what you need to know in terms of like just the good overall summary of an address before you dive in deeper. And as I said earlier, you can sort by realized or unrealized gains on the tokens here. So combining all these features here, you can get a really good overview of any address within Nansen there may be entities that you want to look into, maybe an exchange like Binance. And in those cases, we'll bundle all those addresses together in one spot so you don't have to go through individual addresses and you get an overall view. If you have any questions, let us know and we'd love to help you out.